This is Garrett J. White, the authentic entrepreneur, coming at you real, coming at you raw, and coming at you relevant. And this, my friends, is the Daily Download. Today's focus, principle seven in the Pay to Play Academy, which is what? Prosperity awakens consciousness. But in order to teach this principle fully here in the Daily Download, I'm going to need the handy dandy flip chart. So here we go. I'm going to do a different one this time. I'm going to warm it up, warm it up. This doesn't actually add any benefit to it. It just makes it more exciting for me. I'm going to warm it up, warm it up, warm it up. That was a big one. I like that one. Prosperity and consciousness. Let's look at these two. So we talked about prosperity in principle number six here at the Beta Play Academy, but what we're really going to deal with in prosperity is we're going to talk about prosperity as something that we're wanting. And awakens means it creates new awareness. It brings in new possibilities. It expands what I'm seeing. And anytime that something awakens or expands, my consciousness expands. My consciousness is nothing more than the access to the light that I can use to see. Now, we talked about this in the very, 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 very first principle here in the Pay to Play Academy, which is perspective drives action. What I'm seeing is what creates possibility. And we've also said that expanding choice is absolutely powerful, and we've got to do that. In order to create no dilemma, we've got to create at least three options. And at three options, choice begins. But here in prosperity, when I look at what I'm wanting, this is very different than poverty. Poverty is simply what I am not wanting. So I'm just going to put a big not up here. But here's the cool thing about this. We're not going to talk about poverty right now. We're going to talk about prosperity. When you get what you want, things awaken in you. It seems to almost activate and builds upon itself. The scriptural reference in Christian scripture is simply this, that line upon line, here a little, there a little, precept upon precept, or that light itself expands greater and greater until it becomes perfect, or that that which is like unto itself attracts. So here's the interesting thing about prosperity. When you create something that you're wanting, it seems to have almost a like a magnetic force of energy that seems to move and build on itself and expand what I'm wanting. So let's use this in a very simple, simple space. When I started the conversation of business, I remember the first time I left my guaranteed paycheck of $1,200 a month. Yay! As a PE teacher. Yes, that's true. I was a kickball instructor for seventh grade girls PE classes. Continue on. That's my credentials 10 years ago. Get focused. Huh? If I can do this from the gym room of finding out anyways, long story. So here's the thing though, from that $1,200 to experiencing sales, I'd never been in sales before, never been in commission, anything. And I went into mortgages and in the mortgage industry, I started to make no money. I was broke for like four months. I made no money. I was like, oh, this is not working. This is not working. And then wham, I made my first $5,000 check. And my whole world opened up. And when I saw that, it was interesting because what I'd been wanting was to create something different. What I was wanting was something different. And as I received of that wanting, as I was able to manifest the prosperity I was seeking, I noticed something happened to my mind. It was like a lid had been taken off of my brain. And I could see it was like layers had been peeled off of my eyes. And in that new vision, I could see something possible for my life that I never saw before. And that 5,000 led to 10, and the 10 led to 20, and the 20 led to 100, and 100 led to a million. And each of these situations of money, every time that I experienced prosperity at a new level, my awareness opened and my consciousness expanded. This principle is applied to my marriage. It's applied to my body. It's applied to my life. And I'm reminded at this point of a scriptural reference in Christian scripture by Jesus Christ. And he declares the following as he's sharing a parable of the sower. And he declares this. He said, unto he or she who hath eyes to see, let them see and perceive. And unto he or she who hath ears to hear, let them hear and comprehend. And then he continues on saying, hear ye the parable of the sower. In this space, expanding consciousness comes with peeling the layers back. In your life, what will it take for you to get what you want? What will it take for you to stop with the poverty and to start experiencing the prosperity? Chime in down below and let's figure this out together. My name is Garrett J. White and this has been The Daily Download.